Today we're making another chicken dish, but this time it's going to be chicken breast. It is a creamy chicken um, with a white wine sauce on it. It is from Salted Lavender, and I have really been loving her blog lately because, as you know, my kids are picky. My husband is picky. I mean, literally, I can't serve them just anything and tell them to eat it. Hair's going all crazy because they will look at me like I'm crazy and say, who? So I've been loving her blog because she has really quick and easy recipes, but they are more catered to the style of food that my family would actually eat. So I'm going to, <coughs> I'm going to link that down below if you want to check out her, you know, blog spot. I don't want to ramble too much. Let's just go ahead and um, get started and quickly get this out. So the pasta is already boiling. It is back here. And I just have some linguine. You can use any pasta that you want. Um, fettuccine would be good. Um, bow tie, penne, anything like that. Now here, my skillet has already been heated. So I am going to just drop in a few things of butter here. And just a little bit of olive oil as well. So we're going to let those come together and over here we have five chicken breasts that I have split in half. I've already done these here, um, but basically, well, the other side. It's just salt, pepper, and some garlic powder. So I'm going to finish this side, also finish these, um, and then we're going to dredge it in this mixture here. So. What I'm doing here is just taking some kosher salt and I am seasoning both sides. Now I wash these. Yes, I still wash my chicken. And so now we're just going to do, what'd you say, Mom? Yeah, some pepper and also some garlic. So I finished seasoning both sides of the chicken breast and now I am just moving on over to the stove top. So I have a bowl that's full of flour and a little bit of paprika and I'm just basically getting each chicken breast and quickly just coating both sides of the chicken breast with my flour mixture. Now immediately I'm just going to drop that into my skillet. That's my 12 inch skillet that I put the butter and the olive oil mixture in so it is hot and sizzling and it shouldn't take longer than about two minutes per side to cook up now once you have um, allowed the chicken to brown you just want to flip it over and you are looking for that nice golden brown color that comes from the skillet being piping hot now the point is not to cook the chicken breast all the way through it's just to get the brown color on the outside now I had to do it in batches but all my cook all of my chicken has been cooked up so now I'm gonna move on to the sauce so directly into the same skillet I have just poured in a cup of wine and also some chicken broth now after you've added your chicken broth and your wine, you just want to deglaze the bottom of that skillet just by grabbing a whisk or a wooden spatula and giving the liquid a nice swirl, making sure to break up those little bits that are on the bottom. Now next, I'm just gonna add a little bit of butter and some Italian seasoning. And if you don't have Italian seasoning, you know that fancy seasoning that you can get like at TJ Maxx or Marshalls. It's like, um, I, I can't remember what it's called, but it starts with a P, I think. It's just not coming to mind, but you can use that. Or you can just use like oregano or basil, you know, whatever you have, really just use it here. Now, you just want to give it a swirl just to make sure that it's incorporated very well. And then next, you want to add in your heavy cream. Now, again, guys, I'm just giving like a high view of what I'm doing here. Please click the link in the description box for a full description and measurements of 
the exact um, ingredients and the exact amounts that I am using. So I'm just quickly giving it a swirl just to kind of fully incorporate that heavy cream. And now the important part, guys, you want to make sure that you taste it. And here I'm tasting to see if it needs any salt um, or pepper or additional seasonings that you just feel like you need to add. So I did add a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper, and I'm just gonna give it a whisk one more time to make sure that the salt and the pepper is incorporated well. And then we're going to put the chicken breast right back in. Now this is where the chicken is going to complete um, the cooking process. So add all the chicken and all the juice that may be left in the bottom of that plate, pour it all back in. Now you're gonna want to knock down the heat and then just take your time moving each piece of chicken around just to make sure that it's coated with the heavy cream mixture because again, you do want it to finish cooking. So at this time, guys, really you're just simmering it to make sure that the chicken is tender and it is actually completely cooked all the way through. And then you can just serve these with some noodles and some vegetables like I did. Um, it was a hit, it was delicious, and we will definitely be eating this again. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure that you like, share, and subscribe, and follow me over on my Instagram at Shay's Country Kitchen. Until the next time, bye-bye.